Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today I'm going to make a very simple tool that I needed for work. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it, so included in this video I'm going to do a shop update. Stay tuned for the project. This weekend, I spent some time at uh, the woodworking show in Indianapolis. And while I was there, I uh, met up with Bob Lanford and uh, Corey Irwin and uh, Lainey Shaughnessy. Uh, we kind of hung out for a little bit. Uh, Bob and Corey and I pretty much hung out all day. And uh, uh, of course, Lainey was doing his uh, digital wood carving booth. And, uh, but we all had a good time and, uh, you know, I got to hang out with Bob and Corey, uh, like I said, for mo most part of the day and we just talked and hung out and we had a great time. Uh, later that night, we, uh, Bob and Corey and I went out to, and Bob's two sons, uh, went out to, uh, dinner at uh, Applebee's and then, um, Corey came back to the shop that night. We hung out on the Maritime Woodworker Show. Uh, that was a great show if you haven't seen it. Uh, John Duresta was the spotlight. And let me tell you what, that dude is funny. Um, <laughs> I was kind of speechless during the whole show, but uh, you know, he, ha he had reins of the show and you know, he is just one funny guy. Um, go check that out. I will leave a link in the description for that because that is one funny episode. Um, anyway, after the show, uh, Corey came out in the shop and we hung out in the shop a little bit. He did a small little interview with me. So I look forward to that on his channel, uh, here in the next few weeks. Um, and then, uh, he went home. It was probably one o'clock in the morning at that time. And, uh, I went to bed. So I had a really good day 
at uh, the woodworking show and hanging out with Bob and Corey. Um, Corey Irwin, if you didn't know, he's Black Widow Woodwork, Black Widow Woodworking. Um, he is also the one that sent me the saw blade with my initials on it a uh, a couple months ago. Uh, you can see it right there on my wall. And uh, that was his first metal project, and uh, he wanted to do that for me and sent that to me, so I do appreciate that. And while he was here, I had him sign that, and um, then we uh, proceeded with the uh, interview there. Uh, but yeah, we hung out pretty much all day, and that was a good time. Um, as far as this project goes, this is a very, very simple project. I needed something for work that uh, was a little safer than what I was doing before. Uh, if you don't know, I work in, in an automotive uh, shop and we do tires there. And when we do the tires, we have to put our old tires outside uh, until the tire guy comes around and picks them up for recycle. Um, but in the neighborhood that I am in, uh, there, there's a few guys that comes around and basically steals those tires. And I, I'm sure they sell them or put them on somebody else's car or, or whatever. I, I don't know. Um, most of these tires are junk anyway, so I don't, I don't know why they want them. Uh, I guess just to make a quick buck or something. I don't know. But anyway, my company says that we are actually responsible for those tires. So if somebody steals them off our property and then um, somebody goes puts them on a car, at that point, we are still reliable. Now, there's going to be a, a long, drawn-out process to even try to prove that those are our tires anyway, but never, nevertheless, we got to come up with a way to destroy those tires before they get stored outside. And what we've been doing recently is taking a razor blade and cutting a sidewall. Well, the company also says they don't like box knives. So we can't have box knives. We have to have these little safety knives so you don't cut your finger. Well, the safety knives are not strong enough to cut the tires. You've got to have a box knife to cut the tires. Um, so that's where this comes in effect. Um, it's basically a old screwdriver that I grounded to a point and put a handle on it. That's all it is. But I can jab this into a sidewall of a tire makes that tire unusable. I think it'll be a lot safer. Uh, you can use one swift motion. Um, I, I don't think there's any regulations as far as my work goes, as far as having one of these. Uh, yeah, I guess it could be a pretty uh, lethal weapon, uh, but you know, that's not the purpose of it. It's the purpose of destroying those tires in a safely manner so nobody would want to steal them. Now I'm sure after a few months of destroying these tires, I probably won't even have to do that because those guys won't even come back to steal those tires. We'll see. <laughs> so that's all this is. I'm not even going to finish this because the guys that's going to be handling this, their paws are all greasy and nasty and grimy anyway. It's no point in even finishing this. It's a simple handle, holds very tight in your hands, I put a little palm or a hilt down here so it don't slide off and I grounded that to a pretty precise point and uh, it holds in quite well. So that's all I got for you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the project. hope you enjoyed the little shop update. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and leave me a comment if you want me to change anything. Uh, once again, this is Mike from MF Woodshop. I'll see you next time. The second the brake releases, it activates, releases this metal brake up into the metal brake ball.
this guy's tape. You got me off. Wow. You got me nervous. My heart's a flutter. It'll only be on YouTube tomorrow. Yeah. It will right. not? It will. It will be on YouTube. That's right. <laughs> Nothing about this face is made for TV. I'm made for radio. My face. Watch it.